What's up, Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter, and Instagram followers? It's your boy No Name back at it again with another video, and this is kind of a really random video, um, a random thought kind of video. I had a lot of things floating around in my head, but I didn't have enough of each topic to make one solid video on it, so I kind of just put it together in one thing here. And maybe as I talk, maybe it will expand, you know. Um, so before I sound like a crazy man just you know saying a bunch of stuff and you guys are like what the hell is he saying I was thinking about making a video on what I think about Isaiah Simmons uh, the possibility of Jason Garrett as our offensive coordinator um my thoughts on who or what we should target in the draft and stuff like that and it's just like really jumbled in my head so I'm like oh, let me just make a general Giants talk video we'll see how it goes if I ramble off on one topic for 10 minutes that's great that means I have one, enough content for one vid and I'll put it up and then I'll do the others in separate ones but we'll see how it goes now with all that said let me get into this another reason I'm kind of scatterbrained just like my last vid um you know just got home I was busy all day had some time to make video I want to get something up for y'all so my thoughts on Isaiah Simmons uh, linebacker or slash slot cornerback slash pass rusher slash outside linebacker slash everything on defense for Clemson this dude Isaiah Simmons listen I love Isaiah Simmons I've heard about him before I watched him play in the uh, national uh, national championship the college football national championship and you guys notice I don't watch college football the only time I do is around you know this time of the year to do research for the draft and you know who my team should take and all that make some mock draft videos and all that but other outside of that I don't watch college football but Isaiah Simmons, Chase Young, and AJ Epineza, if that's how you say his last name, these are three guys I've heard about since I want to say maybe September, October, since the beginning of the NFL season in talks for the New York Giants because these are three guys on defense that we could use on the New York Giants. I've heard all about Isaiah and I saw, saw it all on the field a couple nights ago during the national championship game. This guy's amazing. All right, I'm going to flat out say it. He can rush the passer. He can drop back in coverage. He can play the middle linebacker spot, uh, spot where he has to, you know, keep his eyes on the running back and tight ends. Maybe do some nice fundamental tackling and actually wrap up something the Giants have been missing for a while. Once again, go back to drop back in coverage. I saw him on a wide receiver at one point in the game, and he was he was keeping pace with him very nicely. He was on also on uh, Randy Moss's son, the tight end for LSU during the game, and while. Moss did have a big game. Whenever Simmons was on him, there was a noticeable struggle there. You know, so Isaiah Simmons is honestly probably a dream type of defensive player to have in today's NFL. What do I mean by today's NFL? The NFL that's not really defined by positions anymore, very similar to basketball, how they don't exactly, you know, shove a player into a position and they train for that specific, you know, like say you're a big guy, you don't necessarily have to be a center anymore who where your job was you have to rebound, you got to block shots, you know, play defense in the post. No, now centers could stretch out the floor, they could shoot threes if they need to. Some centers even have handles. You guys get what I'm saying. It's very similar to what's happening more so on the defensive side of football right now. We haven't seen it on the offensive side because, I mean, well, we kind of have with Taysom Hill, but other than that, it's not really there because the offensive side is more set in stone. But on the defensive side, you're seeing a lot more... Uh, players getting into this mold of Isaiah Simmons where they could do more than one thing rather than just a safety is stuck to uh, dropping back in coverage and every now and then you know tackling a running back now you got that guys like Dion Buchanan who in his heyday for uh, Arizona could also rush the passer rush the passer my god I can't even speak <laughs> could also rush the passer and now Isaiah Simmons is sort of like kind of a creative character out of a man game who could really do it all and this guy is great at what he does. I can't state that enough. The reason I am stating it though is because the opinion I'm about to say after I finish praising Isaiah here, he would be perfect for the Giants. He really would be. You know, if we um can't get Chase, can't get Chase Young, which is looking heavily like we will not be able to draft Chase Young, that's no problem because Isaiah Simmons could help out our pass rush and do other things if the Giants use him as he was used in Clemson. That's really a big part of this thing too. Let's say we do get Simmons and this is like obviously the draft is months away. Let's say we do get him. The way he's going to be the most successful and I do believe he's going to be successful no matter which way he's used because of his talent. 
But the way he's going to be most successful and most productive is if you use him the way he was using Clemson all over the field. And we don't know how that's going to happen with our new defensive coordinator and Patrick Graham and whatnot. You know, maybe he will use him all over the field because Joe Judge was talking about versatility. And like a lot of people, when he started talking about versatility, Isaiah Simmons is a name that popped in mind. And you want a versatile defense to be able to stop the run when you need to, stop the pass when you need to, you know, play stifling defense when you need to. So Isaiah Sims could very well be used in that way. Or Patrick Graham could use him maybe just as a middle linebacker or just as a pass rusher. We don't know. We don't know yet. But even though Isaiah Simmons is basically like a dream match for the Giants, a match made in heaven for our defense, I don't think we should draft him. And the reason, this is my personal opinion. There's something I want to get out to you guys and I want to explain why. Because I'm going to be saying it a couple times in you know, the going months. Eventually, when I do make my mock draft videos around, you know, late February, early March time, I am going to uh, state again, I don't want to draft Isaiah Simmons. Or I guess I should say, I don't think we should draft Isaiah Simmons as much as I want to because we're forgetting our number one priority. Our number one priority is the offensive line. And the offensive line is really the most important part of the team to focus on right now. This is a part of the team that's been ignored for several years up until 2018. And I gotta give Dave Gilman props for this because he really did try his best last offseason to fix this. You know, with the signing of Mike Remmers and the offseason before it with um, drafting of Will Hernandez signing of Nate Solder, Dave Gilman did help improve this offensive line, but it's still bad. And for the first two weeks of the season, we saw what it could be or what it could have been had the players, you know, kept playing at that level or, you know, maybe there's something wrong in the scheme and whatnot. We may never know what occurred after the first two weeks of the season that caused our offensive line production to, to decline. But the fact remains that while it has improved a little bit, it still has a long way to go, especially for a young quarterback in Daniel Jones, for him to be protected and to be safe and to develop properly as a... Uh, as a quarterback that could lead a team anywhere and and as a team for the team to develop the team's offense to develop for us to go anywhere in the regular season or in the playoffs you can't do that with our offensive line and i don't want us to ignore it because we may have a perfect match on defense as good as that sounds and defense is important last off season you can see it in all my off season vids which is how i start off my channel defense was one of my main focuses because obviously and obviously in my playoff videos all my playoff reactions I've been saying running and defense is how you win a Super Bowl. So I don't want anybody to think or anybody to misconstrue my words to say that I don't want us to develop our defense right now. No, I do. Of course I do. But the main priority is the offensive line because we could, we could, I'm not saying we will, we could very well slip back into, you know, putting it on the back burner, putting it as the second priority instead of the pro top priority and then the line never develops and it just gets worse and worse or, you know, it stays stagnant at this low level. And, you know, we never really developed the line at all. And, you know, the Giants are just stuck in the, the loop we've been in for about 10 years now. Well, maybe like eight, not really 10 of having a bad offensive line. And that really causes us a bunch of woes. So I, as much as I like Isaiah Simmons and as much as I think he's a great fit for the Giants, I don't want us to get distracted by the fact that we still have to build this offensive line. And the team will honestly run through the offensive line, both, you know, physically and metaphorically. Now, whether that's Andrew Thomas, whether that's that guy Wills from Alabama, I know there's uh, Becton out of Louisville, you know, there's a couple of offensive line guys out there. Uh, well, you know, there's three specific tackles out there that people believe are worthy of a first round pick that I believe the Giants should target by trading down. Because as Simmons' stocks rises, more teams obviously will want him. We have a better situation of, say, trading down to maybe like. I'm just tossing out a number here, maybe like the eighth overall pick or something, getting an offensive tackle and also getting picks in return to help bolster that defense in return. We could sign, you know, somebody in a free agency and maybe if we sign, let's say a Jack Conklin or something, then we'll take Sims in the draft. There's obviously a lot of factors here that go into it that could completely change my opinion or that could still address the O-line without going into the draft. I just personally believe the best way to build a team, no matter which position, is through that draft and I already see that this is running on 10 minutes so I'm gonna do another video on Jason Garrett later but I just want to get my thoughts out there to you guys I don't want us to get distracted by our woes on defense which are very important but put aside our top priority and I mean our top priority 
of getting this offensive line to a respectable level where it could create holes for Saquon Barkley, protect Daniel Jones, and help this team develop. Let me know what you guys think because um, I, I feel like it's a great you know topic of debate for Giants fans right now. Where, where should we focus? What should be our top priority? In my opinion, is the O-line. Uh, do you guys think it's the defense? Do you guys think we should focus on our linebacking core, which has been weak for just about as long as the O-line? You know, let me know down below. Uh, that's what I got for y'all right now. Like I said, I'm going to get another video out on Jason Garrett. Maybe today, maybe to no tomorrow. But I'm out for now. Like, share, subscribe. Please, it helps out the channel. I'm out. You're... Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. You're...